Thanks, bear. Much obliged. He was a bear. That is true. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Lit, and this is Fortnite Save the World PvE. And what we've got in here at the moment is Ted Shot Jess, and this is who we're going to showcase today. I'm going to show you the tactical slots and the support slots, and I'm also going to show you just how effective she can be. So stay tuned, and let's check her out. Okay, now I'm in early canny at the moment, so I don't need to have this hero leveled up all the way up to 30 just yet, although I do plan on doing that very soon and then doing a re-review. I like to use the characters quite a bit first, you know, get to know if I like them and then I'll level them up all the way. Just saves me wasting mats and that kind of thing. So first off then, let's just go through the skills. We've got focused acquisition, so increased chance to find double loot by 6%, making it absolutely fantastic as an outlander for gathering or if you're going to do some farming, stuff like that. Got the loot llama nice and early, you get that at one star. Now she's got the teddy as well with some extras on there which I'm going to cover in a second. Now we've also got in the zone so after five hits in a row with a pickaxe again in the zone which increases pickaxe damage by 24% which is fantastic. Precision handling now this is a good one so hitting a headshot increases the speed of your next reload by 7% maxing out at 35% and it resets after reloading so that looks pretty awesome as well so if you can chain a lot of the headshots together that would be absolutely phenomenal. Bear with me so that increases the duration of the teddy by five seconds. She's got face shift when she gets up to two stars. Now also as well, this is what makes her like the snipery uh, kind of outlander that she is. She's got a uh, quick scope, so increased sniper rifle rate of fire by 35%. That's massive as a boost in itself. You've also got bear stare, so Teddy now fires eye beams that deal 22 base energy damage. You've got phase runner, so phase shift increases movement speed by 25% for four seconds. And then you've also got on there as well the anti-material charge, which you get at three stars. Now the two that I haven't got yet, just purely because we're early on in Canny Valley, is eye on the prize, so every 15 headshot kills grants a charge fragment. So you're constantly getting charge fragments all the time. And also you've got Berserker as well, so increases the damage dealt by the Teddy by 25% and the duration by five seconds as well. So it deploys Teddy to provide covering fire while snapping foes from a distance. So that's kind of how you're supposed to use uh, Ted Shot Jess. Now the ones that I use in support, if we look here, always Shuriken Master Sarah. I think she's the most important one to use when it comes to uh, a support slot, when you've got an ability heavy hero like this one. Simple reason being, if you look down there below, ability damage increases all ability damage by 15%. Support bonuses are applied to your primary hero when this hero is in the slot. So let's just think about that for a minute. Increases all ability damage by 15%. So the Ted shot basically and the, you know, all the ability buffs that you get are actually going to be increased just because you've got this hero in there. Now this hero is one you can change out. You know, you can have all different. I use the Grenadier in this one because killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers three base health per second over three seconds. So I like to get the health boost as well. So another one that I sometimes run is Raven because what you can get with Raven is killing 10 enemies with a ranged weapon deals 2,200. 203.6 damage in a one tile radius does not stack with non-tactical explosive rounds and applies to all classes so that's another good one i'm going to i'm going to stick with the grenadier just because i want the survival element uh, of the hero to to really like shine through in this one so let's jump into mission and see just how well ted shot actually plays out okay so we're doing the encampments then just see how this uh, how this sniper holds up good decent so um, takes a couple of shots. Whoa, okay, wasn't ready for you. <laughs> Alright, okay, that's the bear that we're using. Okay, this guy's taking a while to put down, even with those big headshots. But we are uh, out-leveled here a little bit as well. So we are in a mission that is slightly over our level, so this could get tough at times. Okay, I think the first encampment's here. Oh, llama. Oh no, I don't want the encampment just yet. Okay, can I do I've got have I got time to drop this llama cuz I need to get rid of it. So just gets the llama like really early on as well. So you get the llama nice and early. Which is great. Oh my god, no. God damn it. All right, let's just <laughs> We are making really difficult work of this. Okay. But this is what you get for being out of your level. Oh, and we're getting shot at as well. It's okay. It's fine. We're okay. All right. Okay, so this looks like a good vantage point for us. So let's put down... To let's put down the bear there, and we'll just put up the... Uh, oh! Oh my god, right, okay. We are well out over-leveled here. 
And what we want to be doing is picking these off with some carefully placed headshots. Which is what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, let's face shift over here out of the way. Oh, I did not see those guys. Okay, we're going to have to shotgun these guys out. But we are going to aim for headshots still. Oh, we've got some help look from the Shredder Guild there. Good. Alright, and if you look already, the Teddy's coming back up so we can put another one down. Whoa, oh no, no, no. Alright, let's get back on the sniper again. Alright, so this sniper is probably not powerful enough for what we need. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we got this. There we go. Oh, my bear is down. Try and help her out, look. Yeah, alright, good. So he comes up really quickly and we've only got 30 seconds before we get another one. Oh, this does not look like an easy one. Okay, I don't think these are going to start the encampment off. Oh, yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're off. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we get the bear in then, then we're going to get up on the ledge. Oh, my God. All right, the bear's just decimating everything there, which is perfect for us. All right, let's give him some knockback. At least we can help. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, I mean, coupled with the turrets, if you were to get this and the turrets as well, you would be absolutely laughing. Headshots are really important. Because they're what give us the extra charge. So the headshots with this character count for an absolute load. There we go. So even in a higher level area, you know, a level that's higher area than what we are, we can still definitely hold our own in this. Okay, looks like we're in. So let's get the bear down again. There we go, and we'll throw up the turret as well. And then we need to get a vantage point, really. Wow, alright, okay. Wow, okay, so we took some we took some quite big hits there. These get quite tough uh, as time goes on. Oh my god, right, okay. So you gotta land them headshots, just time them right. Nice. I always like to pay back in missions. So if we are underpowered, you know, make it so that the others can, like, get the llama if they want it. They've all seen it go down. I'm guessing they've got enough mats. Especially if you're in, like, building missions as well. There's nothing worse than the guy that comes in and doesn't add anything to the floor or doesn't add anything to anything. And just kind of takes all the mats and goes. So I like to give back a little bit. I really need to go and help with that next <laughs> with that next encampment. Are we miles away? Where is it? Oh, it's up there, look. Okay, let's go help. Okay, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Oh, that is a big jump. There we go. So, there, you know, kind of saving the day there. Yes, short range headshot, because that is what we do. And I love how this sniper can go through walls. I really need to up the perks on this, I think. Head. Whew. Oh, thanks. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yeah, we got it. Oh, look at them all. There is tons of them. All right, where's that coming from? I see you. Yeah, double headshot. We'll take it. It all counts. Wow, all right. <laughs> We've still got 20 seconds left. Oh! Dragon Slash. I love hearing that when you're getting swamped like this. Oh, wow. What have we just walked into? All right, here we go. Okay, the bear's down. This is going to get a little crazy. All right, I need to go even further back because we are just weak as chips. Got him. We got him. Damn it. I can't believe I missed that. The damage on these is good. There we go, he's down. So we're kind of letting the soldiers do a lot of the heavy the heavy work. Nice. 
Oh my god. Right, the bear's back up in one second, so we need to get that back in there if we can. Let's jump in the middle. That's where we want it. Alright, if we get to the opposite side, we can start helping out this way. Oh my days. This is getting intense. Are we good? Are we good? I definitely am enjoying Kenny because it's getting much, much more difficult. Thanks, bear. Much obliged. He was a bear. That is true. Oh my god. Right, definitely saw him behind us. Look <laughs> at this guy just running away. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh, nice. Hoverboards are still exciting even now. Okay, so ultimately pretty good to be fair. That was a much higher zone than what I'm actually used to. And we still hold our own, I thought. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what we actually got from that then. So we got schematic XP, we got some gold, and we got people as well. And then we also got some frost up as well, which we definitely wanted. So the setup that I've got is this look. So we've got Ted Shot Jesse we've got in the main uh, slot. We've also got Shuriken Master Sarah, because if you look at this, what you've got there is the increased all ability damage by 15%. So the bear was doing much, much more damage on that one. And then we've got the tactical squad bonus of the Master Grenadier Ramirez, which is survivalist. So killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers three base health per second over three seconds. And it resets the healing duration. Uh, sorry. Sorry, kills reset the healing duration will not activate on full health and cannot stack with the survivalist hero perk so you've got, you've got the survivability there and you've also got the uh, shuriken master who's, who's putting out more damage so as a as a group as a utility it's extremely extremely effective all right guys so that's all we've got time for then using ted shot jess she's kind of like an outlander come sniper come special ability ted hero i guess is the best way to put her maybe we could put that into shorter terms i don't know how but that's how she is i'd love to know your thoughts on her down below do you know what do you use her for do you use her more for farming do you use her more as a support uh, member do you know if you're in a group of friends and things like that do you use her as a support but i would love to know down below how you use ted shot jess and do you know your thoughts on it as well so guys don't forget to subscribe as you leave and don't forget to hit that like button and i will catch you on the next video take care now